Hey, yo, we about to bust down some bars, right? And we're going to use bad meets evil bars as the example, all right? Now, why are we going to use bad meets evil bars? Because that's M and Royce. And when it comes to M, Royce, and Crook, nobody can outwrap those three rappers today in the industry. Nobody. To be honest, nobody can outwrap them in history. But I've already said too much. <laughs> but anyway, now, first, let me explain to you what we're busting down. Okay, so we're going to separate the elite rappers from the elementary rappers. Now, when it comes to just rhyming traditionally, you are supposed to put the rhyming word at the end of the first bar and then rhyme with that with the end of the second bar. So let me explain what a bar is, all right? If I say I'm getting in a car to go to the mall to get some new jeans because these jeans are small, that was two bars, and each rhyming part, mall and small, they landed at the end of each bar. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going, getting in the car to go to the mall, that's the end of the first bar. To get a new pair of jeans, because these jeans are small, that's the end of the second bar. You feel what I'm saying? That's where, that's where your rhyme is traditionally, traditionally supposed to land. You feel what I'm saying? But when you're skilled, you don't got to do that. It's all type of stuff you can do. And here's... An example of um, what you what, 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 what um, something else you can do. All right, so what you could do is instead of putting the rhyme at the be at the end of each bar, you can put the first rhyme at the beginning of the first bar, and then put the second rhyme at the end of the second bar, which will leave a gang of space in the middle. You feel what I'm saying? And what rappers who are skilled do with all that space they'll use that space to insert other rhymes that are technically unnecessary but they use it just to showcase how skilled they are you feel what i'm saying they'll put two rhymes that are not the main rhyme in the middle in that space before the uh the the main rhyme comes back you feel what i'm saying so hopefully this is not complicated for you i'm gonna explain with the bad meets evil bars so pal peep this out on M's first album, on the Bad Meets Evil song, Roy says, The disaster with dreads. I'm bad enough to commit suicide and survive long enough to kill my soul after I'm dead. Okay? Now, disaster with dreads and after I'm dead, those are the main rhyming parts. If you notice, he didn't wait to the end of the first bar to say the disaster with dreads. He just came out the gate with it. That was the first thing he said, the disaster with dreads. That's the beginning of the first bar. He said, I'm, I'm bad enough to commit suicide and survive long enough to kill my soul after I'm dead. You feel what I'm saying? You see all the space in the middle? That's when you want to change up on, on, on the motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? You don't want to just keep rhyming in a traditional way. Now, later on in that same song, he did the same thing, but this time he inserted rhymes in the middle you feel what i'm saying he says he says whooping human ass throwing blows cracking jaws with my fist wrapped in gauze dipped in gluing glass you feel what i'm saying so again whooping human ass and dipped in gluing glass are the main rhyming parts but he said whooping human ass at the very beginning gang of space in the middle then at the end of the second bar he said um dipped in gluing glass but this time he inserted um cracking jaws with my fist wrapped in gauze in the middle those are not the main rhyming parts but he did that to illustrate how skilled he is you feel what i'm saying he's gonna give you some extra rhyming bar that he didn't have to do because he's skilled now in that same song m did the same thing m says um he says this is what happened when bad meets evil and we hit the trees so we look like Vietnamese people, right? The main rhyming parts are evil and people. This is what happened when bad meets evil. Stop. But then in the middle, he put, we hit the trees so we look like Vietnamese people. You feel what I'm saying? He put, the, he put extra rhyming parts in the middle. And not only that, if you fast forward doing that rhyme scheme, he says, um, 
This is what happened when bad meets evil. We had the trees that we look like Vietnamese people. He's evil, and I'm bad like Steve Siegel. About a lot, because I don't believe in police either. Shit, me neither. We ain't eager to be legal. So please leave me with the key to the GP. Cool. I breathe these over these lethal. Okay, yeah. He says, um, please leave me with the keys to the Jeep Eagle, right? In the middle somewhere, he says, me with the keys. So that me with the keys, if you go back, it rhymes with, um, we hit the trees and Vietnamese. Those are not the main rhyming parts, but he put them in there. These are the things you have to consider when you are judging who the goats are. If the goats ain't doing all of this stuff, then are they truly the goats? You feel what I'm saying? Reevaluate who you believe is the most skilled rapper of all time. Until next time.